Hey, what's up guys? So today we're going to be making coconut curry shrimp. I know it may sound a bit intimidating, but I promise it is not. Actually, from start to finish, it only took me about 30 minutes, including prep time. So right there you see we have about um, 16 to 18 raw jumbo peeled shrimp. And you see me showing the garnish, which will be some shredded um, coconut. And now I'm just showing you um, all of the different ingredients, which will be linked down below in the description box of the full recipe. So let's get started. So first you want to cut your stove onto a medium high heat. You see I started off at 6 and then I'm going to eventually bump it up to a 7. You want your pan to be um, pretty hot as when you can feel the heat over the pan like if you hover your hand over the pan then it should be ready and then you can move on to your next step which will be adding in a heaping tablespoon of butter because that's where we're going to put our peppers and onions into and we really want them to sweat so right there you see me putting in the butter and the pan is fairly hot that's what you want not so hot that it's like smoking excessively but just hot enough for your butter to melt at a easy pace so once your buddy butter is completely melted, you want to take um, about, I'll say, mm, a heaping tablespoon of olive oil as well, about the same amount of butter that you put in the pan, put that much olive oil. And then you see me adding in some sweet onion, about a fourth a cup of each of these. And then I'm adding in some green bell pepper. And don't worry, I'm going to go back and scrape that out. <laughs> And then you see me adding in the red sweet pepper. And then followed by that, I will be adding in the yellow sweet pepper. I love using tricolor peppers in this recipe, especially because it really makes the dish pop and it makes it look a lot more fancy than it really is. You'll see how easy it is, but whoever you serve it to, like they will really think that you went and bought this from a five-star restaurant. Trust me, and then the taste really backs it up as well. So you really want those to sweat until they get really translucent. The onions get translucent and the peppers get really soft. So after those um, have sauteed on that medium high heat, then you want to cut your stove down from the medium high heat to um, a low heat because we're going to add in the shrimp um, in just a minute and you don't want the shrimp to cook on the high heat because then they'll cook really fast and we still have to cook them in the sauce so you want to cut it down low so they won't get tough and they stay soft and tender so from there once you cook them once you cook the peppers and onions for about another I say five minutes on that low heat because remember you already cooked them most of the way on the medium high heat for about five to seven minutes um, now this is how they should look that's just an example it may take you more time may take you less time depending on your stove but that's how you want your onions and peppers to look before you add in your shrimp the onion should be nice and translucent and the pepper should be like soft so there you see me with my shrimp I have like I said in the beginning 16 to 18 raw peeled shrimp and it's, I have jumbo shrimp and I'm just adding those in making sure that they're spread out in the even layers so that they cook in evenly And then once those in is immediately after this you don't want to cook them or anything leave them just like that like you see I'm going to add in my Jamaican curry powder and I added in two tablespoons of the Jamaican curry powder and I like the Jamaican curry powder because it has a bit of a spice to it but if you don't like spice feel free to use normal curry powder so then next we're going to add in our water and you see me right there adding in a fourth a cup, but in total I added in about a cup of water. And you can use chicken broth if you want to, I just didn't have any on hand. But the water works perfectly fine, it'll still be perfectly seasoned. And I will um, be adding in seasonings off camera. You can find the seasonings that I added um, down in the description box on the recipe. So next, you see I added the rest of the water, the whole cup of water. And it's cooking down a bit, getting a little thick. So now you see me with my coconut cream. I used a few tablespoons of that. I can't remember exactly how many, but it's linked down below in the recipe. And I added that in, and you really just want to let that cook. And from this point, just really thicken up to your desired consistency. I cook mine with a lid on probably for about another 10 minutes or so till it got to my desired consistency, but that's completely up to you. But from here, you're literally done. All you're going to do from here is plate. And let me tell y'all, this is so delicious. It is so good. I kind of surprised myself 
and you see here that I have mine plated up. I paired mine with some lemon infused brown rice and some sauteed green beans and I garnished it with some freshly chopped cilantro and some shredded coconut and it was so good. You all need to make this for your friends, family, boyfriend, whoever. Ladies, let me tell you, it will get you a ring. It will get you a ring. Trust me. <laughs> let me tell you because it is so good you will feel like you like are literally a top chef because it's so easy it's so quick and i'm telling you it came i surprised myself so now we're gonna move into the infamous tasting phase and you'll literally see the expression on my face like it was so good it had nice spice to it not too spicy but it had a very nice spice to it just kind of hit the back of your tongue and it was so good as you can see so yes guys thank you so much for watching and be sure if you are to make this recipe be sure to tag me on any of my social networks so I can see how your food came out I'm pretty sure it'll come out good and be sure to share this on your Facebook or whatever to your friends and family so that they can see the recipe and find my videos as well and be sure to subscribe to this channel as well as my other two channels which will be linked down below if you haven't already as well be sure to like this video if you liked it thank you all so much for watching and i will be back with many many more videos and remember guys if you have any questions feel free to ask me down below or on any of my social networks and be sure to check the description box because i did answer a few questions that you may have down in the description box above the recipe but like I said, if you have any questions, feel free. Don't be scared to ask me any questions that you may have, either down below or on my social network.